Hi there. My name is Dr. Axel Mönchlager, and I'm the Calgary Zoo's Director of Conservation and Science. I want to tell you a secret, as I'm here in my greenhouse. Nobody else can hear me. Swift foxes are my favorite. Swift foxes are the tiny little foxes that are about half the size of a red fox, smaller than a house cat, beautiful umbrella, and they have the uh, cutest little black patches on the side of their nose. Now my wife and I have been studying them for almost 30 years so that we can help them to recover after they went extinct in this country for over 40 years. Great news and what makes me happy is that the populations are doing super well. Now in terms of working with swift foxes, what makes me so happy is seeing them with their pups. And I want to tell you a story. There's Susan uh, and Hannibal. And Hannibal was a big, strong male swift fox, and Susan was really swift and quick. And they had a litter of pups. And we would wait at the den for hours waiting for them to come up so that we could count the individual foxes. And, and so we did, and over time we came to know those foxes, we even gave them names as well. One of them, for instance, was a girl called Silken, and we named Silken after an Olympic Canadian gold medalist who, at the time, we were really impressed with. And Silken got together with a boy that we called Wiggle, because he was a bit of a crazy boy, and he was so so interesting because whenever we would be in the field he was curious about us he was watching us and he would he would be around us all the time so it's really these happy moments you know we would watch the dens and we would see the little boys and girls like the siblings the brothers and sisters playing with each other the great news was though that their pups all survived relatively well until they got even older and now what we see is we still see their offspring and their offspring again. science to come up with understanding these issues now has been a real focus for both the Canadian governments and for the American side as well to limit the use of poisons in areas where swift boxes are. That isn't just good for swift boxes but for other things too. We want to love nature, we want to help nature and we want to help science to help nature. And so anything that you can do to help us, give us any advice or ideas you can develop yourself is so important so that we can continue to help swift boxes and all kinds of other species that need your help. Thank you for supporting wildlife conservation.